on the boy reaction hey guys other boy reactions here all right so we're getting back into elite season three episode five under if you guys are enjoying my videos please like comment and subscribe and if you'd like full reactions and early reactions please check out my patreon by going to the link down below all right let's get started nice very nice I'm gonna get the whole school hooked on it. Oh my god, oh my god. And her Louis Vuitton. Ah! Oh, Asian kid. Yeah, be careful with that principal. You're just Feliz? For the most part, yes. He's just going through a rough patch. Oh my god. Get away. Oh, yes! Yes, Omar. Uh, Malik turned out to be disappointing. Good for you, he's not Andrew. totally happy. Fuck. Oh, that's the end. Good for him. Yo lo odiaba. Le echaba la culpa de mi enfermedad. La botella de champán se rompió. El cuello cayó junto al baño y fui a recogerlo para tirarlo. Tu hermana. ¿Cuándo piensas decírselo? Nunca. Nadie no puede dejar a Malik. Por. Don't. Oh my God. Oh my God. Te aparece Nueva York. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mi padre la deja presentarse a la beca. Si se entera que la está usando de tapadera, me lo manda toda la mierda que la conozco. Oh my god. Ha llegado el contrato. Fuck. Oh my god. ¿De eso querías hablar? ¿O de qué otros cuernos si no? Ninguno. Olvídalo. She has a heart. She has a heart. <laughs> Fuck you, sir. Go away. ¿Estás entrenando duro? Fuck. What is that? Oh, that's it? Really? Oh my god, Samuel. Oh my god. Está aquí. Oh my god. Me cago en la puta, pues no hay nada. What is this? Oh. Oh. We've never seen them this intimate. Oh god, does she even want to have sex with him? Probably not. Oh my god. Lo que sea. Like what? Ver, no me voy a rapar la cabeza en señal de apoyo, pero por lo demás. Gracias. Estoy harto de las miradas de pena. No sé qué es peor, si la quimio o la compasión. Mm, I don't like the way, the way that sounded. ¿Quieres la pieza que nos faltaba? I mean, it's kind of romantic, but. Y joder. Que una vez encuentras el amor es una mierda tener que dejarlo escapar. Guzmán. Se agachó, lo cogió y se metió en el baño. What? Le viste con tus propios ojos a Guzmán. Oh God, is the mother going to be on her side or the father's side? She's not going to say anything. Ah, oh, fuck. 
Oh fuck, she knew. Oh fuck you. Estaba de acuerdo. No cometas el mismo error que yo, Carla. Yo también conocía un Jerai. Pero elegí a otro del que estaba en la Now look what happened. Y me ahora. No. Oh my god. La gente que no tiene nuestra posición. Oh fuck. Who's that? Ahora vengo. Oh, that's the guy she's meeting? He probably saw Samuel. Oh my god. They could go to a more discreet place. Fuck. <laughs> She's having a good old time. <laughs> yes, Carla. Oh my god. Oh! Damn. Uh, oh my god. Damn. Omar. No! Why him? No. He's with your sister. God damn it. Oh my god. She straightened her hair for him. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, she's gonna protect them? They made that much? Oh my god. Oh my god. That couple. Fuck. Fuck. All over him. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, because he touched the bag. Oh, that's right. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Y más cuando estoy a punto de ganarte. Pretendes que me piense el ir con él a Nueva York. A ver, con suerte van a haber tíos que lleguen y se vayan de tu vida. Pero oportunidades como esta solamente una vez. Además, él te usó. Deberías usarlo tú también, básicamente. Mm. Pero lo que ha hecho ha dolido mucho. Sí, lo sé. Entiendo que tengo sentimientos por alguien. Fuck. That's my bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I keep forgetting she's his mother. Hmm. <laughs> Has hecho lo correcto. Eh. Has hecho lo que tenías que hacer. Oh my god. That was an amazing episode. Oh. oh my god, I don't even know where to start. We had, you know, the beginnings of a truce between Nadia and Lou. Lou has a heart, after all. Um, and it wasn't, you know, had nothing to do with Guzman. Usually her you know, showing compassion and empathy usually only applies to 
Guzman or Valerio. But this was someone, this is her enemy. Um, she was doing it to protect Omar. She was doing it to protect Nadia, I think. Especially when Nadia apologized to her. Um, I think that really hit Lou. She was about to throw it in her face and tell her, oh, your boyfriend's cheating on you with your brother. She could have done that easily. And if if this was season one Lou, she definitely would have done that. Um, but she's grown. Um, it was beautiful. The highlight, one of the highlights um, in this episode were the thruple. Um, it's so beautiful to see Polo, of all people, find happiness. Um, they just work so well together. And you know, it's so heartbreaking because you know it's all going to come crashing down and he's going to die. And, and But it seems like, it looked like, you know, a few episodes ago that something goes wrong between the three of them and Cayetana and Valerio, you know, break off from Polo at some point before he dies. So I don't know what happens, but it was really nice to see him happy, even though um, a part of me hates him with a fiery passion. Another part of me wants him to be happy. Um, maybe now, especially knowing that he's going to die. Um, it's like, I want to see him have as many happy moments as possible. Um, and it's also, it's also similar to what Ander was talking about. Like, you know, if you, if you know that you're going to die or if you know that someone you love is going to die very soon and they only had a little bit of time left, all the shit between you um, just goes away because it doesn't matter as much. Um, but also, it's, it's easy for me to say because <laughs> Marina wasn't my sister. Like, if I was Guzman, um, of course, I would, I would be pissed. Um, like, beyond piss. Like, that's, there's not, not even a word for how he's feeling, how angry he is at Polo. That's why it meant so much that he came, he still came for Ander at the end there, knowing that Polo was going to be there. Um, you know, Polo was only a couple feet away from him. Um, but he did it for Ander, which is beautiful. It's interesting that, um, so Ander said that well, first, Ander told Omar that he is the one that stabbed um, Polo, right? But then Omar was like, you know, you're covering for someone. Um, was he really covering for Guzman or did he really do it? Let me see what he said. Hold on. Oh, okay. So he said... So he's protecting Guzman because he said he's he's as good as dead. So he figures I might as well just take the fall for it to protect Guzman um, because he's dying anyway. So he figures you know might as well. Um, <sighs> damn. Um, but then he he told the truth at the end. Um, it looked like to the detective. So I thought it was interesting that. Ander told Omar um, <clears throat> that he doesn't mind if he sees other people, <clears throat> um, you know, because he can't give him what he needs right now. He can't be intimate. He doesn't. He's not in the mood. He's always tired. He's sick. So, you know, he, and he said he wants Omar to be happy. That was beautiful. But, okay, like, I get that, but... Why does Omar need to be... Why did he need to choose Malik? I mean... You couldn't find anybody else. <laughs> like, really? You had to go with your sister's boyfriend? Oh my god. Um, 
but I guess the attraction was just too strong and he he needed to not feel anything because he's frustrated and overwhelmed with what's going on with his boyfriend so he wanted to just not think same thing with fucking Carla I feel bad for her too um her dad is pimping her out whoring her out so is her mother we find out that the mother knew about it all the time the mother had a good scene even though I hated what she was telling her daughter to do I see where she's coming from because she's like I married for love and look where it got me and you know um like they're ruined because of the father. She's telling her daughter to be practical. Same thing that Lou's telling Nadia, you know, it's an opportunity. I don't know, I don't think I could do that. Um, I don't think Nadia's gonna end up doing that either. Um, it's just not her. Is Carla gonna become addicted to drugs now? <laughs> Did Valerio get her hooked? Um, because she doesn't wanna feel either. I felt bad for Rebecca because she really loves Samuel and he betrayed her. I loved um, what she did with the fluorescent paint and how, you know, uh, it incriminated um, Omar and Malik too. That was awesome. Um, at first I was like, wait a second, why was that on Omar? And then I forgot that he touched the bag. Um, wow. And then I love that the crack in the glass started because Rebecca punched Samuel so hard that he smacked into, you know, the glass wall. So that's how it started. Well, that's how it physically started. It, it you know, metaphorically started a long time ago when, you know, Marina started her shit, and then Polo killed her, and yeah, <laughs> so, um, the crack has been, you know, cracking for a long time in this, <laughs> this whole group. I love the moment between Ander and Polo, um, and that Ander is in this place of not letting, not holding on to resentment. But he's also not in the same position that Guzman is. Like, I, I can't blame Guzman for being upset. And I can't I can't blame him if he wants to hate Polo forever. He killed his sister. Even if it was an accident, he murdered her. He smacked her over the head and left her there to die. I feel like um, Polo's uh, mothers are being very hypocritical. Like, they're acting like... You know, this is the worst thing in the world, and, you know, I mean, they're acting like they didn't go through the same struggles growing up as lesbians, and now you're gonna judge your son? Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They're not hurting anybody. They're just, I guess the parents are just worried about how it's gonna look, but I mean... People have probably said the same thing about you at some point. I'm sure there's a lot of people who still don't like that there are two women who are married and living together and raising a child. I mean, so, I don't know. I mean, I guess, it, I mean, it's a shock, yeah, because it's not conventional for three people to be together, but, um, I don't know. They need to get over it. <laughs> Well, they will get over it soon because their son is gonna die and none of that is gonna matter <laughs> Yeah, really that is the least of their problems. Not only is their son gonna die, but it's gonna come out that he's a murderer Like it has to unless they drag that on too. I don't know how like how long can they keep this secret <laughs> from the public? What are they gonna do in season four? I guess we'll find out. I mean, I still have a few more episodes, but Oh my god, when Nadia showed up to the club with her straight hair, I was like, she straightened her hair for him. That's how much she's trying. She's trying so hard and she cares about him. Like, this is the first person she's cared about since Guzman. Um, 
That is commitment right there. Straightening your hair for a guy. Like, and he fucking betrays her like that. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I felt bad for Valerio, too, in this episode <clears throat> when, you know, he he already, in general, feels like, like he's nothing um, because of the way the dad treats him, um, because he does drugs to, you know, cover up the fact that he's sad. Um, he, because of the way the dad treats him and because he can't be with his sister who he loves. Um, now he's poor. Um, and now he's in love with two people and, you know, the world doesn't really accept that. And then on top of that, Polo's parents judged him and, you know, he, and he can't, he can't. He felt like he couldn't go to London with them because um, he couldn't afford it. I mean, now he can afford it. Like, I didn't know they were making that much money. Damn. Um, with that drug business. Like, he's they're not going to want to give that up. And it's like, what is he going to do once he goes to London? Um, well, it's, we know it's not going to happen because Polo dies. But if he did go, what would he do? For, for more money. Like, the drug business is here in Spain, so um, I don't know what he would do. But it was really beautiful to see the three of them happy, and um, the whole time I'm looking at them, like, I'm so happy for them, but at the same time, I'm thinking, like, what happens when, like, one day one of them is like, oh, well, like, what if Cayetano's like, oh, I'm kind of tired of Polo today. I just want to sleep with Valerio. Or Valerio's like, oh, I'm kind of tired of Cayetano today. I just want to sleep with Polo. Like, like what <laughs> What are you supposed to do um, if that happens? Like, two are just going to go off with each other, and then that other person's going to feel left out. That's why I feel like they're definitely in a honeymoon phase right now, because it's so new. Um... But I don't see that lasting for, like, years. But that's just my opinion. Um, well, what do I know? I can't even make it last with one person. So, um, <laughs> that's why it's hard for me to see, um, to see it working with two people. Like, if it, if it was, like, a foursome, I can understand that. Because then someone would always have someone, you know? Um, yeah. I don't know. But it, it's... The relationship between the, the three of them is really beautiful, though. Um, very unexpected. I didn't think I was going to care about them that much. Um, I was kind of... I don't know how I felt about what Cayetana said. Like, I love that she said, you know, that Valerio was their missing piece. But when she said, you know, bef like, Polo and I didn't fit until you came along. I don't that sounds kind of weird. That sounds like like she wouldn't be with Polo unless Valerio was there. I don't know. Like I thought I thought she was going to say like she loved Polo but when we met you like you know, you made us even better. But that's not what she said. She said like like we weren't working until you came along. That's like the equivalent of couples who aren't working and then they in order to save their marriage they have a child because they think that's going to save it like like that doesn't work so already her choice of words indicates that things are not going to work out um like it sounded like she was saying like basically she likes valerio better to me i mean that's what it sounded like um i don't know but for now, you know, they're doing fine. They're having fun. Um, they're in love, which is great because it's not going to last, <laughs> which is sad. But that's karma. That's what happens when you murder someone, Polo. Anyway, an amazing, amazing episode. I really liked this one. Um, so many things were happening. Um, it was just a beautiful episode. So many, so much growth. 
um, for so many of the characters. Lou, um, Guzman, um, even, you know, Ander. Um, they're all, they're all just growing. Um, so, you know what, in, in another thing, another thing I was thinking about was Polo might never have had this relationship with Cayetana and Valerio if he hadn't murdered Marina and then been, you know, really sad and depressed and I feel like Cayetana was attracted to that, to him being sad and lonely and an outcast and because she felt the same way. So they may never, they might never have gotten together. So like in a twisted way, you know, this was his destiny and, and it was, it was fortunate for him. Obviously it sucks for everyone else and Marina and Guzman and, um, I mean, he, yeah, he's basically fucked up everyone's life. Including his, but he gets to have a little bit of happiness before he goes, you know? So, very interesting. Really enjoyed it. I love this show. If you guys enjoyed it too, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like full reactions and early reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. Alright guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye.